information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Hey, money man. 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 Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Tony, hi. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Yeah, hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony, I have a question. Tony, uh, got a question. Hey, Tony, uh, just have a quick question for you. Questions, questions, questions. What in the world are savers to do for answers to their questions? Well, let's find out. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, The Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, best-selling author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Why would anyone ever ask a question about a subject or topic? Well, that's pretty easy because we assume if someone asks a question, they are looking for an answer, hopefully the correct one. Yet with all of the questions we humans drum up each day regarding a plethora of all sorts of topics and subject matter, is it any wonder that today with all of the many resources available at our fingertips, the correct answers to our many questions are not easy to find or at least verify if they are correct. And since we must admit that no one person can possibly know everything about every subject, why is it that we so quickly trust others when in some cases they know less than we do? In other words, how do we truly know that the person answering our questions is giving us the correct answers? Well, in many cases we don't. This is why today we are going to expose the fact that there is no way one person, yes, even yours truly, can know it all about money. But unfortunately, when it comes to advice about money, there are boatloads of people out there lurking at every corner who think they do. Well, welcome folks to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, question and answering specialist, Tony Walker. And before we get started answering your questions about the subject at hand, as always, let me introduce America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander. Aaron, how are you doing today, partner? Hey, Tony, I'm doing great. And also in the studio is Louisville, Kentucky's most laid by graphics artist. There he is sitting over in the corner, ready to go. Derek, my question to you is, how are you doing, partner? Howdy, Tex. I'm doing great this morning. Okay, so here's the real question, folks. What in the world is going on with all of these questions? Questions of where to invest your money, questions wondering how much, if any, to sock away into your 401k plan, questions about whether you can retire now or need to keep working. How about this one? Questions about how to earn more on your money than that 0.5% CD they're offering over there at the local bank. Whatever your question, as you watch this program, I want you to think about who and where you are getting these answers from. How trustworthy is the person or the resource providing your answers? Well, seeing as though I've been helping savers worry less about money for more than 37 years and answering a ton of their questions over that period of time, let's assume, for now anyway, you've come to the right place for answers to your financial questions. But therein lies the problem when trusting financial advice from others. First, how do you know that the person answering your question has the knowledge and experience to provide the correct answer? And second, how do you know if that same person you trust to hopefully have all the correct answers to answer your questions is humble enough to admit when they don't? You see, folks, here's what I've learned over all of these years from studying under some of the top financial minds in the country. There is no one person, no matter how smart they appear or how confident they are in their abilities, yes, including a little man in a sweater vest who has a lock on all of the correct answers to your questions. That's because this whole world of money is huge, which is why years ago, I decided to focus my attention and efforts solely on helping savers and more specifically how I can help them enjoy their retirement. I don't try to give advice on areas that fall outside my expertise, 
That's because over the years, I've learned that when it comes to giving advice to others about their money and what to do with it, it's not always how much we know, but admitting how much we don't. Well, we've got some good stuff coming up the next segment. In fact, I'm going to have my favorite son-in-law, fellow fiduciary Trey Jurgens, in the studio, and we'll answer your questions. You stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. When it comes to wise people being able to answer life's questions, I would put Will Rogers at the top of the heap. Born in 1879, Rogers lived in a time when things were hard, but much simpler. He had a way of cutting through the BS and boiling things down so that humble men and women could not only make sense of life's great mysteries, but feel good about their lack of knowledge as well. Since today's topic is dealing with why we have so many questions to so many things we don't understand, I grabbed this humdinger from Rogers to explain why we do. He says the following, everybody's ignorant only on different subjects. To me, there are no truer and more encouraging words ever spoken. You see, when we all admit that this is a huge universe with a ton of different subjects, topics, theories, and facts, and further admit that we are truly ignorant on most subjects is a time in life when we can live life to its fullest by enjoying the things we understand and possibly staying away from the things we're ignorant of. Yet, when it comes to money, there's a catch. As much as many may feel like they're ignorant about their money and how best to use and enjoy and protect it, those same people cannot just walk away from the issues and the problems that money can bring. That's because when it comes to money, unless you're enjoying your time living in a monastery somewhere, we all have to deal with money. This is why you have so many questions. And knowing you have questions is why I have spent so much of my life's work trying my best to answer them. In fact, not only have I answered literally thousands and thousands of questions from consumers over the years, I've been interviewed by many times and many various television show hosts radio show hosts, and yes, even newspaper writers who have published my thoughts in their newspapers. Maybe that's you right now. You've got questions like, can I retire? How do I pay for all the taxes buried inside my 401k plan? Should I still have so much of my money in the stock market or should I start playing it more safe? And finally, what in the world am I supposed to do with all that money over there at the local bank earning 0.5%? Well, I got good news because in the studio with me to discuss this very question of why so many savers have questions and who to trust for the answers is my fellow fiduciary and favored son-in-law, Mr. Trey Jurgens. Trey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're more than welcome. And uh, we've already done a radio show this morning, and we're going to jump right into the issue of these questions. And the first question I have for you, you've been with me how long now? Uh, five years, if you count working part-time kind of there at the beginning. And you mentioned something on the radio show this morning. By the way, uh, if people want to watch the radio show, they can go to soundcloud.com and uh, listen to all the past radio shows. But you said something that was very interesting. What did you make the comment of about how many times you've met in meetings with me and when you said in the very first meeting about questions? Yeah, so in almost five years now of sitting in different meetings with you, meetings I've had with prospective clients, what I always remember is those first couple meetings, how many questions you really asked. And I thought that was so different from what I have seen about and learned over five years about this industry. A lot of time the financial world leads with answers. They don't really care to ask questions. Yeah, and you mentioned a great example on that. Give us an example of the Roth conversion, which obviously we suggest people consider those, but give me an example of leading with an answer. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so these different, if you look on the internet for any answers, which is scary enough, <laughs> uh, right now the biggest buzz in the financial world is that a Roth conversion is the right answer for everyone. 
And as you know, as I know, not everyone is fit for a Roth conversion. And right now, it, the financial world doesn't really care. They want to tell you that that's the greatest thing you could possibly do. And, you know, we, uh, another thing we talked about earlier was just our website, how much time we've taken to put into the website. Obviously, this website is, you know, for Tony Walker Financial and what we do, we're looking for prospects to possibly work with. But go back in time, too, when you first started, when we were consulting with a marketing organization about redoing our website and his comment about the content that we have. Yeah, so typically, and again, that's when I started. I was helping out part-time, looking to rebuild the website in the unique problem we had that he very quickly identified is how much content you've truly pumped out over <laughs> 37 years in this industry having production team in-house we had too much content for just a typical website at about five years ago now the web any internet traffic it's all very web uh, video heavy we had so much video at that time that websites had to almost be built around our content so now we have the blog page we have video content, portals that are educational portals. We have downloads like the booklets, um, almost too much content <laughs> still, but we make it as easy as we can for savers to find answers for all those questions they have. Very good. Oh, it's a great segue, Trey, because speaking of booklets, folks, we have written six different booklets. These are booklets that you should be using for anything, that all issues of retirement, 401ks, annuities, etc. And these booklets are absolutely free. Well, what's been happening lately is we've been letting people know that you can get these booklets absolutely free. As Trey said, you can download them at TonyWalkerFinancial.com or you can actually email Gina at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Gina Tutwiler is our Louisville manager here in the Louisville office. And in fact, I've got a couple of pictures. Here's a picture of Gina. She's actually loading up some of these booklets into a box that someone requested. We're mailing those out. And then we had a wave of these, so Gina had worked diligently to pile these things up. And there you can see. And then finally, I think we got a shot of me, Derek. Yeah, me kind of peeking through there, kind of like, hello, here come your booklets. So folks, if you'd like to take advantage of these free booklets, we have all six of them. They're absolutely free. Just go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, TonyWalkerFinancial.com, and then just let us know or go to the downloads page and you can download them all free. Now, by the way, Trey, we'll come back in a second, but speaking of downloads page, this little booklet here, Annuities Made Easy, I want to come back in our next segment and talk about what a gentleman did when he went to our website and how those questions led to more questions. You ready for that one? I am. Okay, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. can you trust? It's one of the most important decisions you'll have to make. Question is, are you ready? Well, we're here to help at Tony Walker Financial. You know, we care more about you than we do your money, and we have over 2,000 happy clients and an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau to prove it. Rolling over a 401k, confused about Social Security, maybe you're afraid of running out of money. Learn how to use and enjoy and protect your hard-earned money. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and let's get started. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. I'm in the studios with my favorite son-in-law, fellow fiduciary, Trey Jurgens. We're having fun, aren't we, Trey, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're at the question, question. Who's got a question, right? So this is kind of interesting. Do you recognize that, the Hey Money Man? Those were before my days. I remember when I started dating Lacey, she said her dad was on TV. I didn't really <laughs> believe her, but now I, now I know you were. Yeah, that was obviously a few years <laughs> and a few pounds ago. But anyway... If you want to keep going, Derek, I used to ask answer questions that way. Then I was on a live TV show for over seven years here in the Louisville market. I mean, that was live. I'm taking mm -hmm. questions live and a bunch of them. Uh, what else do we got? Those questions have led to a bunch of booklets we've written. So in keeping with the tenor of making sure we provide responsible answers to questions, we got all these booklets. And you'll notice right there in the middle, this one, folks, called Annuities Made Easy, which led to a Tony in the Trenches, Derek, if you can put that up. And here it goes. What this gentleman did, well, you, you met this gentleman, Trace, so describe what this is all about, and you can go on and let it roll there, Derek. What, what did he do here? Yeah, so he downloaded the Annuities Made Easy booklet on the website. At TonyWalkerFinancial.com. At TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Yep. He didn't stop there. He read the entire thing and then went as far as cutting, pasting, snipping, 
and asked about 11 different questions, about eight printed pages worth of questions that he emailed Heather. And that was a follow up to his second appointment with me, with, with you. And then uh, met just last evening, I was able to sit in on that appointment and all those questions you answered in an email back to him, which led to more questions. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and even his spouse who came to that meeting, at first I could tell all these questions just seemed, so I kept going back to the whiteboard, just kept addressing each question. And I just think, I, I told him, I said, I really appreciate the amount of work you're doing because you're going to know a whole lot about annuities and he's getting more and more comfortable for the, with the process. So folks, yeah, you got to know how to ask questions and you got to know which questions to ask. So again, I encourage you to go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, download any of our free booklets, and then please follow up with us. That's what we're here to do is answer your questions. Now in the time, I'm running out of time, Trey, this is a great one. This is a financial entertainer, um, well-intentioned, I'm sure, but this, the headline says, don't borrow your own money, that's ridiculous. And what it is, someone had written this gentleman and asked about borrowing from their whole life insurance. And to which this financial entertainer says, well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Who would do that? Well, guess who has actually borrowed from their whole life insurance? I think I'm looking at him. <laughs> so folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk over the whiteboard in the time remaining. Now, again, this doesn't mean you should do this, but I want to share with you why even people, some of the most well-intentioned, even the financial entertainers out there, a lot of times do not understand what they're talking about. Remember the theme has been, there is no one size fits all. Nobody's got all the answers. As the old saying goes, there's different ways to skin a cat. So what I'm gonna do, walk over to the whiteboard and show you exactly how this situation played out for me personally. So let's just imagine, okay, we've got a million dollar 401k and you've got that yourself, right? And I've got, which I do, a million dollar whole life policy. Dividend participating whole life. That's what that stands for. Now my death benefit is a million. So if I died today, my wife or my kids, whoever's left when I die, will get $1 million tax-free. Pretty good deal. And I have cash value of $500,000. Now this actually happened. The building, and I'm changing the names a little bit here and the amounts, but the building on Shelbyville Road, where Tony Walker Financial has one of its offices, I bought personally for a half million dollars. Let's just use that number. Well, you say, well, Tony, where would you get that money? Well, let's imagine I didn't have a life insurance policy and I wanted to buy this building. Well, I'd have to get it out of my 401k plan. Well, what's the problem with that? Well, first of all, to get the 500,000 out of this thing to pay for the building, again, you're going to have, depending on your tax bracket, about $200,000 that is gone forever. That means you've got to take out 700,000 to net 500,000. And if you don't understand economics, which obviously this person doesn't understand the economics of the transaction. Remember folks, what we're trying to do with money is use the same dollar more than once. In this example, you're only getting to use your 401k once. Once you use it, it's gone forever. So this creates something called a lost opportunity cost. So let me, let me explain. Let's say you're making 8% on that 401k. You had to take a total of 700,000 out of it. Well, the 8% that you could have made is gone forever. Worse yet, now you're only left with about 300,000. So at your death, yeah, you got a paid for building, but then somebody's still gonna be stuck with the tax tumor. So what did I do? I borrowed the money from my life insurance. There was no taxes whatsoever. So I had no LLC on the taxes and I'm paying myself back with a little bit of interest. Yeah, I gotta pay a little bit of interest. I'd rather pay a little bit of interest than a whole bunch in taxes. I don't know about you. And here's the unusual thing about this arrangement. If I were to die, right, the building's paid for because I've borrowed the money, they would subtract the half a million from my death benefit, which again, did I say tax-free, Trey? You did. Okay, tax-free. So actually at my death, my wife and my family have a paid-for building and they have $500,000 of tax-free proceeds. Now again, should you run out and do this? There's even more what I call working capital turns going on here we won't even get into. The point is folks, you have to be very careful when you're out here on the internet or listening to radio or TV and these people making these blanket statements. And that may be you right now. You may be sitting there saying, well, Tony, yeah, I don't have somebody that I can just sit down and talk to who will listen to me, who has the acumen and the experience and understanding of economics and insurance and annuities and investments, all those things that a fiduciary has to know 
and can help me understand what's best for me. Well, that, if that's you right now, why don't you log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Let's Get Started button, and also you can just simply call the toll-free number on your screen. It's all confidential, and we will be happy to talk to you about your situation. Now, when I come back, we're going to talk about something in the Bible that's very controversial, and the same gentleman has an answer to one of the questions in here that's going to surprise you in terms of how the Bible responds to his answer. I'm Tony Walker. I'll be right back. So we were wrapping up an episode the other day and uh, Tony calls me over for something. I was diligently at work, but I pop up and I dash over there to see what's going on and he asked me for a cup of coffee. Uh, I asked him if the store brand would be all right and he said, no, 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 only the Starbucks will do. There's a nicer way of saying that, but admittedly in the past, he has said if I drank cheap coffee, I'd die. I only asked because that morning I uh, unfortunately had the last Starbucks. All we had left was tea, decaf, and the cheap stuff. So I thought I'd do some digging and see if we had any extra laying around, but unfortunately we um, seem to be completely out. So I think about it and I just decide I'm gonna have to take the risk and hope he doesn't notice a difference. So I hand him his coffee and uh, I watch intently for any reaction. And it seems like I'm in the clear. You know, sometimes working for Tony can be a bit of a challenge, but as long as you're a quick thinker, you can usually get by pretty well. Uh, I'd like to think that he and I, oh, uh, never mind. With the stock market at all-time highs and our nation's debt through the roof, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. Now may be the best time to safeguard more of your 401k. Let's get started today by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Our theme today is what in the world is going on with all of these questions out there? We've also reminded our viewers that as much as someone would have you believe that they know it all, in the end, many of these know-it-alls don't always know as much as they think. You know, one of the touchiest and sometimes most uncomfortable questions and topics for Christians to reconcile with is how much, or more specifically, what percent of their income they should give to church or charity. Now, many Christians follow the teachings of the Old Testament and calculate the amount of their giving to the tithe, which literally means 10%. In other words, let's say you make $10,000, you give 10% of it away or $1,000. And while the instruction of the tithe is made quite clear in the Old Testament, it gets a little more complicated as we read the New Testament and apply the calculation of the tithe to modern day economics. Take this recent article I saw whereby a well-intentioned Christian asks a financial entertainer their take on whether to tithe their business income. In fact, let me read you the question. It says, Dear so-and-so, my wife and I are Christians and we own a successful small business in our town. Should businesses tithe? Now, apparently, according to this know-it-all tithing expert, he appears to be a tad stumped and replies to this particular question this way, let's take a look. He says, to the best of my knowledge, the Bible only addresses the topic of tithing by individuals, not businesses. Personally, he goes on to say, I don't give a tenth of my business gross income until I receive my net paycheck. Well, that's kind of interesting. In other words, he's gonna just leave those millions of dollars of gross income that flow into the business out of the equation. Pretty nice. Well, instead of relying on a flippant advice from financial entertainers in such as an important question as this, let's actually see what God has to say about it as we take a look at one of the most interesting financial encounters about money and giving found in Acts chapter 4, beginning in verse 36. As we see, following a vast movements of God's Holy Spirit moving across the multitudes, God's Spirit moves in the heart of a man, apparently a businessman, who owns a sort of tract of land by the name of Joseph. Now Joseph sells the land and he doesn't just give a paltry 10% of his business income to the church. No, he comes in and lays 100% of the proceeds 
at the apostle's feet and yet walks away. Now careful here, because if we are taking the Bible literally, our text, and then our next question leads to this. Well, if Joseph did it, does it mean that I'm supposed to now give 100% of all of my income? Yes, even the proceeds of land and businesses? Well, that's a great question. So instead of me trying to answer that, let's see what Paul has to say about this huge standard that Joseph has now set for all of us trying to run businesses and sell land. We go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, where Paul gives this admonition. He says, consider, now to this I say, he who sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully shall also reap bountifully, which leads to another question. Now, come on, Paul, how much should I give? Well, you go to the next verse for the answer, and it is really good news. He says, let each one do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly, nor under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So how much should we give of our money, business income, and other resources? Well, the answer to that age-old question has just been answered. You got it? Well, how about you? Are you tired of looking for answers to your financial questions in all the wrong places? Do you feel like there's this big old financial world who knows more about money than you do, and maybe as a result, you don't even know what questions to ask. Well, there's no reason to remain in the dark. If you're a saver and you are retired or thinking of retiring soon or just have a bunch of money that you'd like to put to work for you instead of everybody else enjoying it themselves, let me invite you to visit with me personally, Tony Walker. Yes, that's right. Not only have I personally met over the past 37 years with 15,000 savers, I would feel honored to talk with you either by phone or in person. And I promise you this, I will do my best to answer your questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll either find out or I'll tell you straight up, <laughs> I don't know. So here's a question for you. What do you have to lose by simply talking to me? Well, I can answer that one, nothing, because there is absolutely no cost, no fee, no charge for you to speak with me by phone or in person. So to take advantage of this free offer, why don't you do this right now? Just log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and click on that Let's Get Started button. Once there, you'll be taken to a page where you can click on the Let's Get Started and that page will allow you to fill out information. And if you'll notice there that you can either arrange a 10 minute free fiduciary phone call or if it warrants, I can meet with you personally at either our Bowling Green, Louisville or Lexington, Kentucky offices. Or of course, you can always just call the toll free number on your screen. Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's program. Next week, we're gonna talk about the 401k rollover process what is really a 401k plan? Where can you roll it over to? And what is an IRA and how is that thing supposed to be used and enjoyed before it's too late? Good stuff coming your way then, but you remember between now and next week, if all else fails, you be worry-free. Make it a good one.